Are you making the movie of your life or playing a character in someone else's? The first lets you do whatever you want in your business. The second is like an exciting ride that you didn't ask for. 90% of people think they're making a movie, but they're really just along for the ride. Here's how to make the movie you want. This summer, I played a character in someone else's movie. Baby Blue brought us to this fly-in 900 miles away, and after a few days when it was time to go home, there were about a dozen guys stuck in the pilot's lounge waiting out the weather. When we finally came up with a, a plan, it was late in the day to be launching, and someone suggested we fly as a group. Sounded like fun, but it wasn't long before I regretted it. I kept screwing up the formation landings, and by the end of the second day was feeling quite foolish for having allowed myself to be talked into something I had no business doing. My original plan had been to make a movie called Take Your Time and Enjoy the View, and the rest of the guys were in a movie called The Fast and the Furious. I should have just let them go on their way. Now, as in flying, so in business. If you don't feel free to say what you want to say for fear of what someone else might think, you can't help people the way you were designed to help. So you have to build and sell your tools in ways that the world tells you to. And that means using persuasion, the crudest of the selling tools that doesn't involve outright coercion. This all comes back to who's making your movie. If you want to be the screenwriter and the director, then all you have to do is become aware that you're in someone else's movie in the first place. As the writer, you have the power to give yourself, your character, whatever traits you want that character to have. I'm talking about happiness, wealth, creativity, peace. In fact, giving it to yourself is the only way you can get it. You can't get it from out there. That's someone else's movie, and they're too busy making it to worry about your part. You end up using all your skills to get yourself out of a hole into which your lack of awareness has dropped you. It's better to write your own movie in the first place. That's the only way to get what you want without beating someone else up to get it. So if you're sick of using sales tactics that make you feel queasy just because some sociopathic guru told you they work, if you'd rather have people choose you because they want to, rather than having to browbeat or shame, or stimulate, frighten, seduce, or persuade in any way other than the way in which they sell themselves on you, then you've come to a good place in your life. I've been working on something designed to help anyone write the movie of their business, at least with video. I know we live in a world that can't even imagine selling without ever more intense forms of persuasion, and especially in these days when trust has never been lower. People are scared, mostly because they're suddenly trying to get themselves out of someone else's movie. And you can help them, but first you have to help yourself. Fortunately, that's exactly how humans are built. Start by giving your lead character the traits you want. No one even has to know. You can keep doing what you're doing and writing the character under the radar until your internal authority grows to the point where it can no longer be contained and has to express itself. Then the movie you've been making in here will change what you see out there. And I'm looking forward to introducing you to a new way of creating an award-winning movie called Your Business, especially if the character you want to play is called a visible authority. <laughs>